Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here for this somewhat belated monthly closeout. I've got a monthly closeout, uh, I've got the budget open for the June-July period and I also want to do a check-in on my uh, sort of six-month goals because I'm, I'm just hit the six months in terms of how I'm doing in 2023. So expect to see those videos out quite soon. I'm probably going to film all those today. We are running a little bit late on it all because, oh my dears, educational besties. I have just broken up for the summer. I am so pleased. But that happened this Thursday because in the Middle East, the work week is Sunday, Thursday. But it meant I had neither the time nor the will to be sitting down filming and editing videos. Things were quite busy towards the end of the term. If you're in education, you know what that's like. And I just, I was tired at the end of the day. I was end of school tired at the end of the day and things just didn't get done. Now, my budget this month actually ended up finishing a week early uh, because I didn't realize, but they pay you a week early when a school is finishing to make sure everything goes through before the end of school. So the month ended up uh, being a little bit shorter than I was expecting. So I know that salaries, teacher salaries and things uh, behave differently in different places. Uh, what happens for mine, in my old school, they just used to keep paying us monthly like they always did. Um, in this school, and what happens in a few schools, is they pay you the money for the summer period because we're all expected to be back in a kind of mid-August, ready for like the inset week, and then um, then kids come back sort of the final week of August, first day of September, somewhere around that time. I'd have to check the calendar for exact dates, but we're there for a week or two first. Now, initially, I wasn't sure how the wages were working because I had heard that you get a couple of months, but then you get paid the August, September slightly late because new teachers come kind of mid-August, 17th, 18th, around then, and then we're there for a week first, and I didn't know if we had to wait for administration to come back before they would send the salaries. But it turns out not, so it's going to be pretty regular for international work anyway, which means that this month I got paid for two months. I got paid my June-July salary, and I got paid my July to August salary. Now, because I calculate how much money I need a month, and I didn't want to put the burden of an extra week into my next budget... I just decided to keep on living for a week as if I hadn't been paid and then take care of everything in a week's time, which I have now done. So you'll see a bit more of that in the opening. Is that right? The setup. Wow, my words didn't want a word there. The setup of my new budget. As for this month, I found a couple of categories to be a little bit spendy. I think I was talking to you about this in one of my recent videos or as recent as my videos get on this channel. Sorry. <laughs> But I don't know, I've just been noticing things get a little bit more expensive. Not massively, it doesn't really impact me, but as I think I said in the check-in, the budget that I designed that was meant to be comfortable is now getting a little bit tighter and I can live on it, but I have to focus on it more. And I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I don't know if I want to expand the budget or just be more careful because the point of this budget was not to be bare bones. It was not to make me feel like I was under financial pressure, but I do still want to keep up with my financial goals. So I don't know, I may have to reconsider that as we move forward, but uh, let's get into the numbers now. I'll show you how it went and uh, I'll keep it as a thought in my mind. We'll see what prices do in the next month or two. Okay, so let's take a quick look at these numbers because I don't actually think there were a lot of differences between um, the check-in and now, and so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, if we look up in the fixed bills over here, uh, I mentioned that all my fixed bills were pretty much the same except for electricity, which meant that I had five extra in electricity. And as I mentioned in the check-in, I had taken that from Beauty and Health, which was one of my variable expenses just because it had a little bit of extra money in at that particular point. All of the other fixed bills I did actually pay as expected, and so that ended up with a total of 92 OMR to my fixed expenses. When it came to variable, um, I mentioned that my groceries were pretty close to the bone. Um, I had 676 left the last time I spoke to you. What I actually ended up doing, because I did get paid uh, a week early, 
instead of trying to split grocery costs because I had to go for groceries and I ended up spending a bit more than I thought, I ended up actually just rolling this over into the next month. And once it was combined, taking the groceries out of that. So it means that next month we'll have an extra grocery trip in it, but it also had a little bit of extra money in it as well. So it just made it easier to budget out because I was running a little bit short. This is the closest I've gotten to being over in my groceries since I started this actually, which goes back to what I was saying about how prices seem to be quite up recently. My transport ended within limits. It ended at 15.30, so I was doing quite well there. And school ended up around 13.10. And that was uh, a few different things we did in the last couple of weeks. I also had some really cute little keychains made for my kids. Um, because we'd done a project at some point where the kids uh, designed a class logo. And then I had one of my friends over in the DT department 3D print the... Uh, well, did they 3D print or did they edge it? I can't remember. But they uh, they made the key ring uh, with the logo on it. And then I gave it out to the kids. I had um, a couple of different ones. So they really enjoyed that as a present. Just saying, hey, here you go. And the date and my name on it. So they could remember the time with me, which was nice. And they can attach it to like, you know, their, their bags, their pencil case, whatever. And they really seemed to love it because they were part of the design process, which made it nice and fun. Beauty and health, I didn't come anywhere close to hitting uh, this month. I was thinking of, of uh, lowering it because I've had a few months where I haven't been very, very close, but I know that I'm due to buy some face cream soon and that tends to just kill it. So I'm leaving it where it is for the moment. Uh, Miss Comb, I think I already went through. I was near the top of that. Didn't end up putting extra money towards eating out. I was quite close to hitting my spending over... I, spent like 21 there as you can see and the clothing as I told you I went slightly over because I was doing some holiday shopping there is a whole video on Dubai if you are interested and that meant that the total for variable expenses was 232.60 leaving a total of 324.60 for the month over on the British side of my uh, money I send home there are no changes here that I haven't already discussed so I won't go into it too much and um, the only thing I will say, I've been looking at the travel budget and I just feel like I'm putting a lot of money into travel and I don't go on that many trips. I go on maybe a couple a year, but the cost of travel is so much more than it used to be. And I realize I sound a thousand years old at that point, but pre-COVID versus now, really there is a ridiculous difference. And I get the impact that COVID had, but I think we're far enough out of it now that we should be seeing some changes here and we're just not. I don't think those prices are ever going to go down again. And that really leaves me with kind of a conundrum because I do live internationally and I've always said that travel is an important part of my life. But with the amount of money I keep having to put away to be able to fit it into my schedule... I don't know if maybe just cutting down to one trip a year is a better idea because I'm just spending so much a month. I'm putting a, a fairly big percentage a month away to play catch up, to be there in time for my holidays and things. I don't know if it's worth it, to be completely honest, but I know that I would miss it if I got rid of it. So I've just got to think about how I'm prioritizing my money at the moment. And I don't know if maybe easing back on the travel would be good for a little while and just make the sacrifice now but at the same time if it's going to make me miserable it's not worth it you know so I'm thinking about that it'll take a bit more consideration but when I consider how much money is going into this out of my like take-home pay it really does seem a lot for what it is but it's not a decision I have to make now I think I'm going to consider the rest of this year on what I want to do with it and then Maybe when I'm making my goals for the next year, I'll um, I'll reconsider how much I'm willing to invest into this category. I already told you about funding gifts and Christmas, so it was fully funded, which was good because I actually did some spending. You'll see that in my setup. And other than that, everything is looking good. Okay, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed looking at those numbers and that everything made sense to you. <laughs> and uh, I will see you probably pretty soon for my budget setup. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.